That's how you make a roux. Cooking together brings this Lakeland family closer after a busy week. Stacy Angulo tells me the kitchen is where her big family finds time to catch up. A really interesting family. I'm in a bl blended family. I think it was your second birthday. Following the large scale earthquake that hit Haiti in 2010, Angulo fell in love with a three year old orphan named Marvin and adopted him. I saw a photo of him and um, he was just like instantly I knew this was this was my child. This was meant to be. Marvin now a soft spoken 13 year old loves playing football and excels in science. He faintly remembers the day he left Haiti. One of my memories I have is like being in the pool. I like the hotel we were in. Today, Haiti is dealing with civil unrest, alarming levels of gang violence, and an increase in kidnappings following the assassination of its president in 2021. According to the UN, more than 600 people were killed in Haiti in the month of April alone. I've seen videos of um, bodies that were murdered um, just being ravaged and cut apart. We've been, we've seen terrible, terrible things. So it was an easy decision for Angulo to apply for humanitarian parole for Marvin's birth mother in January. His biological mother, sister, and adoptive family now all living under one roof. I kind of thought it would just be like a thought about it, not really like a reality of it happening. The Biden administration's humanitarian parole program allows 30,000 migrants from Haiti, Cuba, Nicaragua, and Venezuela to enter the U.S. each month through a sponsor. Marvin's biological family did not want to show their faces on camera out of fear that their relatives who are still in Haiti may be targeted. No, it's not safe. A lot of people are in danger. The UN is calling for more than $700 million in humanitarian aid. And Gulo would like to see more action taken by the U.S. government to help Haiti. Send a, um, a faction of our military down there and establish order until, you know, proper elections can be had, until the country can be stabilized. Because Haiti holds a special place in her heart. When I saw those little faces climbing out of the rubble in 2010, it really just imparted something on my heart that has stuck with me all these years. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.